Ooh. I'm going to write down a word, though, for you to look out Doesn't my... I think my name means poo in Welsh. Dom does mean poo. Right. And, and well, sometimes that's not good, is it? some of the farmers in Wales will say dom da, which means good... Um, good poo. Yeah, because, you know, you'll use it for the, the, the fields right. if you're farming. So, oh, you're so racist. No, no, it's Oh, true. right. No, so no. everybody in Wales has a field. Now they're, they're as bad as hill folk. No, no. Where I, you know, where I come from, <laughs> my area, it's very rural. Yeah. Aberystwyth, lots of farms around us. Mm. There you go. I went to with a lots of school dom. with a lot of farmers and they're very good at rugby and I get punished when I play yeah, against them. but hang them. on a second. Fair's fair now, Allard, if you are defending your great land and yes. I think that, that's a very yes. uh, commendable thing to do. But when you say Aberystwyth is very rural, yeah. we have been to Aberystwyth mm. and it's not as rural as you make it out to be because most of those fields you speak of have been bought by your dad. <laughs> mm. The phone reception but is awful. You know, and he's bought them so other people can't build houses and live near him because yeah. he doesn't like people. And you see, outside the M25, houses are much cheaper. You yeah. can buy a lot more for your money. So Dad was able to get quite a lot of land. Yeah. <laughs> But, and it's true. He buys it so no one can build on it, so he doesn't have to live near anyone he and even, speak to them. He even he bought a hill like... so that hill folk can live there. <laughs> oh, oh. Ow. No, no, no. He turfed them off. All right. He won't allow them to live there. Right. He went around with a cattle prod going, Get off my land! In a, in a voice like that accent. Accent. Yeah, because he'd, he'd been drinking. Yeah. I don't know what was going Just on. Speaking Morning, Dave, Alan's dad. Yeah. In Dave's defence, I don't think that... I want to clear this up because I think you may take this... Good luck. ...out of the studio, possibly. Yeah. I don't think Dave meant offence. But Dave, it's over to you. Did you, Dave? No, I didn't mean any offence. I'm, I'm talking about You're a tight... Right. Ignorance is perfectly fine. A, oh, a tiny... This. this is brilliant. A tiny proportion of hill folk. <laughs> one, <laughs> I think it's the phrase, Dave. I think it's the phrase you want to change. But you, see, you know what? But I've, that's I've not got to be honest. I've always found, as a rule of thumb, if I've ever insulted anybody with a phrase, the best thing to do is to keep using <laughs> yeah. it again and again and again. <laughs> Until but, they're fine with it. You see, that what you're Pick missing is phrase. the fact that... These people, right, they <laughs> whatever you want to call them, right, your words, not mine, <laughs> they're not representative of the vast majority of very well-educated and cosmopolitan Welsh people. So people who live on the hills are now thick. No, but some of them... Hang on, to be fair, stop? to be fair, hang on, let's just get a degree of common sense. If mm. you did live in, on a hill... Yeah. You are a bit stupid. No, you're not. No, you, no, no, you're a no, farmer no, because no, no, no. you have no, no, to no. farm on the hills. That's where sheep sit. No, no. If he lives in a house, he lives in a farm. But what Dave's talking about people who randomly just live on the hills. Oh, I'd right. like to live on a hill. So so right. but, but, there you go. I respect you. Yeah, but you're a hippie. <laughs> also, it's a little bit weird. You know, Glastonbury don't wash for months. If you were taking part in a pub quiz, for example, you wouldn't have them on your team. No, Dave, you need to stop now. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about Hole in the Wall. It's all gone wrong. Yeah, we just talked about um, yeah. Hole in the Schedule featuring Dave. Dave, you're definitely going to end up playing a game tomorrow and <laughs> Alid is planning it, so I would stop now. Yeah. Wait for the custard surprise. <laughs> it's not going to have maggots in it. Uh, I could have a sting in it. <laughs> can I, I want to listen to... Uh, I want to play the... Can you hear Board in a Taxi again? 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 So, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. So, I'm just going to go to the taxi. Yeah! He's bored in a taxi! Bored in a taxi! Bored in a taxi! Where are we going? To pick up the hill folk! Bored in a taxi! Beep, beep, shimai! Are you on again next week, or is this a one-off? It's a weekly thing. Oh, do you go up every week? I don't go into the studio. I tend to do it from, from the phone. Yeah, no. well, down the line. Oh, if down you the want. line. Yeah. Yes. And the Welsh for down the line is down the lane. <laughs> <laughs> You're down say the that. lane. That's terrible. And what's the name of the girl? Emily Dodd. What's the name? Maggie Dodd. Maggie Dodd. Mm. Thank you, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. You like her, don't you? She's. Just, she came to uh, Big Weekend. She was my plus one. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. What, this year? Yeah, this year. Oh, you didn't introduce her to us? Uh, do you know what? I didn't see her. Yeah, whatever. I was working. Yeah, whatever. Embarrassed of your English friends again, no, are you? Yeah. No. 
Now who's got the problem, Allard? That's right. Mm. Yeah. It's not nothing to do with oh, your yes, it is. Englishness. Mm. Yeah, you never introduced us to our friends. You're you embarrassed. Literally, you crossed the road from us. <laughs> no doubt saying in Welsh, stay away from them pork pie English pigs. Actually, you do you want off. to know what you said to her? What? Oh, 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 who? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. This I don't want this to be too close to the bone, but this is actually real. Who, when? You did. You, I, we asked to join you in uh, the pizza and you said no. <laughs> Do you remember? When? And um, it was the Friday night or Saturday night? Well, when we all went out for pizza? Yes. I was having pizza with him in the corner. I said, oh, can we come and join you? She said no. Who said no? You did. I didn't say no. Sandy said, come and join us. And you said, all right, Sandy. I didn't say that. And so I went to her and said... Hang on, who was there at pizza night? I wasn't there because I went home to pick Nick up. You're not there. I was producing Joe and Scott. Oh, well, then there you go. I'm out. Pr- Proves my point. I think yeah. I was there. I don't there. eat with anybody. <laughs> oh. I think I was there, wasn't I? But she's lovely. Honestly, next time, I'd love to, you know, she'll sit next to you because you'll love her. I'm sorry, did you not just hear me? I said no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I think you were joking, but I couldn't tell, so I didn't test. And I said this to you. Uh, Sandy invited me over, and I think you were joking because you he said, Sandy, what did I say? He said, all right, Sandy, him? you're inviting everyone to sit with us. So I was like, oh, I'll take that as a, I'll stay in the corner. So Maggie and she I... She could have come to join us. She was phased out. We had Pete Tong in one corner. We had you in the other corner. She couldn't deal with it. Oh, and I remember now. I remember that thing. Yeah, no, yeah. hang on. You were like the far end of the universe. You were, the, you were so far away in the restaurant, you could have been in another one. That's true. We were in the corner. Yeah. You know. You didn't come over and say, can we join you? I I thought I had. It's possible I maybe said it badly or something. Right, get Sandy on the phone. I'm not having this. Okay. I'm not having my reputation ruined. Because I wouldn't have you and your friend come over and sit at our table, which probably wasn't enough room anyway, because mm-hmm. there's a small circular Maggie room, Dodd. group of us. If, I, I thought it was a hill folk thing. But, if yeah. we get Sandy on the phone, that means I can't do my visual moment and we've got a hole in the wall to talk about. Oh. You know. Man, this is a nightmare we today, We need to prioritise here. There is so much great material <laughs> and just not enough time. We need you know to what? do look, a visual look, moment, don't we? Let's, can we move on, please? Yeah. Let's yeah. move on. It's now 20 past nine. My deal asked. You mean that he did so with an iron door? Door. So, I have it. I've seen a lot of boy bands with compass. Yes, boy bands. Out of all men. Boy bands with a compass. Yeah, boy band compass. Out of all men. Can you buy- I've heard of many boy bands in my time. Take that, Boyzone, JLS. I've I've yet to hear music from the boy band Compass. <laughs> <laughs> but I've heard there's four forward. members. Yeah. There's North, yeah. Seath, Seath, Seath. <laughs> North, <laughs> South, East, and West. That's right. John West yeah. and Freddie North. <laughs> my deal asked. Yeah. Do you mean that he did so with an iron door? Door. So yeah. I have it. I've seen a lot of uh, boy bands with Compass. Compass. I have all meant. I've heard girl bands under there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> girls. What, what, now, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm realising with your ears on oh, how much English. I do actually say. Okay, all right. Howard, yeah. girls can't catch. Pop of a laugh. <laughs> girls can't catch. Now that's a girl band. A new really? Girl band, yeah. The girls can't catch. Girls, girls can't catch. That's very sexist. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot of boy bands, girl. So mana mana say the normal moment. I'm a jealous to do that. Right, and I'm sort of queer. Yeah. Marvin Mindy would have been. And Marvin Mindy. Marvin Mindy. That's not a boy band. That's like it's a not, boy and girl. It's not Robin Williams program. <laughs> <Marvin laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm log but a mini would have been. My whole mini would and Mauer. Marvin, Marvin would add X. Factor, so of course, put mm-hmm. about. I think he might have said X Factor. Yes, I heard that. I yeah. heard that. The Welsh for X is uh, there's no X in the Welsh language, right? So, so that must be really confusing. Mm. So I, I actually I should go Factor or yeah. borrow the English, right. which I did there. I don't know Dom Ewan. I based in Tonyoli, Corda Pobble Valen, Raita Radachre. Now, Vin Dachadori, no Pobble Hen, Sina Rabid, Radio, Singa Liguaid, or Vin Covio Pobble Velti, Trocantaro. He just said, I hate hill people. That's what he just said. Um, Donyoli, and I've been struggling ever anywhere. Do you go anywhere, JLS? Oh, Otis, 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 Otis. Otis. See, uh, you have trouble in any language with his name. (laughs) It doesn't matter where you're from, we all struggle. It doesn't carry well. Otis. (coughs) Or eats, isn't it? You know what? She's absolutely right. In Welsh or English, do you know his name? JLS. Otis, 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 Otis. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) Brilliant. That's great. That's the four of them right there. Otis, Oritz. Yeah. She thinks there's seven of them in JLS. <laughs> oh, Otis, Otis, Artis, and then who are the other three? Brilliant. Uh, all right, well, thank you very much. That was a lot of fun, and uh, I'm sure we'll keep going with those clips all the way through till 10. Okay. Alad on uh, BBC Radio Cymru. Oh, what's BBC? Uh, it is uh, BBC. 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 So I said that right, BBC Radio Cymru. Some uber Welsh people so that- say BBEC. 
but I think that sounds odd. So yeah. I say BBC. And a lot of, a lot of Yorks people, when they heard you go, Blumenek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. So, BBEC Radio Cymru. Yeah, well done. Is oh my that, gosh, yes. Shemai. And uh, C2 is Ekdai. Ekdai. Yeah, C, letter C, then two, Ekdai. So why would you have to put C2? Because that's the name of the show. Oh, I see, right. Alad, you had me at Blumin' Ek. Okay. Oh, you know, don't worry about that. Uh, right, thank you, Alad Hayden Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Rachel! Coming up today on Radio 1 at 10, Joe Wiley is back from her holiday and we'll have Mika with his brand new single in the studio. Mika? Mm. Yes. Annie Max in for Edith at 1, Greg James is in for Scott at 4, Zane's at 7, Steve Lamax at 9 with a session from Reverend of the Makers. Who? Bet- Reverend of the Makers. Right, like and between ballad. 10 and midnight, it's Nick Grimshaw. That's <laughs> BBC Radio 1, all day Monday. The 20th of July. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Welsh. Diolch and Valor.